So this video is a short accompaniment to Season 5, Episode 4 of the Thinking Deeply About Primary Education podcast. You may have listened to it and thought it sounded really interesting, you were interested in Juan's work, um, but there's a way that we can look at Juan's blog even if we aren't native Spanish speakers. Okay, I, I think it does take some navigation beyond the front page. Okay, so profits made in uk.blogspot.com. But lucky for us, there are a lot of cognates um, shared between Spanish and English, and you can see here, you know, it doesn't take a fluent Spanish speaker to work out that there's going to be seven myths about education. Okay, because you could probably sort of ascertain that just from the from the, the words that are available here. You know, something like um feedback effectivo. Yeah. Something similar. You you know you're you're looking at this as effective feedback. Yeah. And so if we choose let's say if we choose effective feedback, we click on it. We get lots of different sort of options. And so we'll we'll start with the introduction. You say very very similar. We click on that, and we can see the blog in Spanish. Now, if you're using Safari, there's a small button at the top. Click on it. Translate to English, and you've got a blog. Introduction feedback, lots of citations, lots of references. That you can engage with. Now, if we choose a different browser, and so for instance, this one is Google Chrome, we try the same idea. And this time, it should just be a case of right clicking, translate to English, get the same. And so, like I say, you don't need to be fluent in Spanish access Juan's blog, fantastic blog, updated all the time. And so if you're interested in evidence and foreign practice, I would definitely check it out. You know, and I'm sure the same applies other languages if you want to translate them as well. You know, so that might be helpful. And, and I certainly, I try to read Juan's work in Spanish, but sometimes the English is really helpful too. 